The Amtrak conductor wounded in a shooting at the Naperville station back in May is out of the hospital this morning. Dana Kozlov talked with Michael Case and his wife, who are thankful for his recovery and filled with compassion for the suspected shooter. I'm, I'm like Mickey Ward, baby. He knocked me down, but I'll get up fighting. Amtrak conductor Michael Case is home, happy, and feeling blessed. Ten weeks after being shot by a passenger. Through the, the power of prayer and, and all the love and support, I was able to overcome it. The first thought in my head every morning when I wake up, thank you. Just thank you. The train stopped in Naperville and Case says he refused to let an agitated and disoriented Edward Klein off because it wasn't his stop. And I didn't feel like it was a safe uh, place for him to get off at Naperville Station with all those tracks there. Minutes, if not seconds later, Case felt the bullet hit his abdomen, managed to crawl behind a partition. And then uh, had a moment with God and asked him, uh, please spare me. Uh, I've got things to do here and I'm not ready. His injuries critical. Sarah rushed to and stayed near his side through it all. I remember her sorting me out real quick like, hey, we're going to do this. I got you. And, and she did. Yes, I felt it in my heart. Everything was going to be fine. As for his shooter, Case forgives him. We need to take care of our elderly and we need to take care of our mentally ill. It's a big problem in our country. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Case says he'd like to return to work as an Amtrak conductor, but is taking his recovery day by day. 79-year-old Edward Klein is charged with attempted first-degree murder. Last month, his attorney said he's likely mentally unfit to stand trial.